So guys, in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom placeable signs. Here we've got up to seven different custom signs. You can see we've got sign text one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So before you start, you're going to need to go to PCSG and download a mod uh, that is signs that you can label yourself. So I'm going to exit the game. And I'm going to show you um, the download, and then I'll start talking to you about what we do with it. So here we are at PCSG, and you can see that there is a mod here called Signs that you can label yourself. And I will have a link to this in the description. Uh, but basically, you just need to download this file and uh, basically put it in your downloads folder. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way and bring it in here. I've already downloaded it. Uh, it will download it as this. What we're going to do is we are going to open up the archive and you'll see basically we have seven i3d files and then we have a store and a texture in folder. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to modify this file that's in your, the texture in folder and then we're going to modify the seven um, DSS files right here. What we're going to do, since we use 7-Zip, highly recommend uh, this particular application and I will put a link to this in the description if you don't have it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this DSS file out here to the desktop and it basically makes a copy here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit edit. I highly recommend paint.net. It's also free and I will put a link to that uh, in the description also. So here are our seven signs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the texture for the pole. This is the texture for the top and the bottom of the sign pole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to our text tool and we're just gonna click in here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, type in a name I'm just going to type in some names of some folks in my Discord, including myself. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Let's go to 72. And now let's just basically scroll through. And I'm just using a scroll my scroll wheel to uh, scroll through the fonts that I've got here, trying to find one that I like. One that will be fairly easy to read on the sign. That's kind of interesting. That kind of looks like a handwritten sign. Let's go ahead and move that over. Okay, it needs to be a little smaller. Let's make it 65. Uh, let's try 60. That'll work. Let's try to center this a little bit. Okay. And something else that we can do is we can go down here and we can zoom in on the image a little bit more. Okay. And let's go ahead and doesn't really make much sense if we make this any bigger. All right. Now let's go ahead. Now what I'll do is I'll hit escape. And I will come down here to the next one. And let's just uh, let's just play. Uh, with uh, with putting some various names in here. Okay. Now this one is a little bit too big. We're going to have to shrink this one up a little bit. 50, uh, 45. That looks pretty good. Right. Text tool, another one, and let's make this one back bigger. Uh, let's make it just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too tall, I think. Go. All right, so I'm just going to iterate through the rest of these, and I'll come right back with you.
All right, so we have went ahead and labeled out the rest of our signs here. As you can see, we've got signs one through seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this file. We're not going to change anything over here. We're going to leave it all how it is. Just going to look and make sure that we're happy with how those signs look. I'm going to hit save. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and close this out. Now, we're going to take our file here. Let's open it up again. Oh, uh, here it is. There's our file. Okay, we're going to take that and we're going to drag it in here. Are you sure you want to replace? Yes. Okay, and now we have today's time date stamp. Now let's go up a folder, go to store, and let's bring down these seven files again to the desktop. And while they're all selected, just go ahead and right click and hit edit. It's going to go ahead and open all seven of them in Notepad++. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pay attention up here to the file name. So we've got one, six, two, four, three, seven, and five. So they are in no real particular order. So we are on one, okay? And we're going to take, go ahead and open this up. We're going to use this as our master list so we know which one we have. So one, it was my name. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And we're going to see this here. What font did we use? We use, oh shoot, what font did we have? Should have paid attention to see what font I had. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can't figure it out. It's bigger, and it was somewhere... No, uh, it wasn't that one. Note to self, pay attention to what font you pick. It was Black Adder. So this is just the store pick. We're not going to need to be super, super accurate for this. Okay, so put our name in there. And you'll see up here, there is a star. That means the file's not saved. Once we're happy with it, we're going to save that out. Okay. Now the next one is Maverick Gamers. Okay, so that's two. So let's find file number two. There's file number two. And we're gonna go ahead and put in his name. Yeah. Go ahead and slide this over here. Again, it's just the store pick, so we don't have to be super accurate. This is just so we know which sign we're going to pick. Okay. Save that one out. Now we want to find sign number three. See who sign number three is? Raznik. Okay. go and just like before we're going to go ahead and finish out the rest of these and i'll be right back with you so we've got all seven store signs filled out with the appropriate names uh, they've all been saved so we're just going to go ahead and close out paint.net what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all seven of these and drag them back over here into 7-zip. Yes, we want to update. We can see we have now modified the updates for the last modified dates. We're going to go ahead and close that out. We've also modified our date here on the mod. Now what we're going to do is basically bring this over into our mods folder. Okay. And we're going to fire up the game. Right, so then we're going to activate the mod, load her up. You're going to see that it's going to load up error free, of course, because we did everything right. 
That error is obviously a part of the update. Hopefully Giants will eventually fix that. All right, let's run down here. To a point where we were at the start of the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our shop. We're going to go to placeables. And under miscellaneous, we have our signs now. Okay. Pick our sign. Let's zoom on in here. One. Sign two. Sign three. We can all count. And there we go. Let's go over here and take a look and see what our great artistic work has done. So there's my sign. Maverick Gamers. Raznik. Tiger Man. Frank. Nostalgic Farmer. And Darren. It is just that simple, guys. It's not too hard at all. Uh, so go ahead. Download that mod. And uh, get to making your own custom signs. Now, if you want to basically have more than one set, uh, all you should need to do is go in here and basically copy that mo um, copy that mod and rename it. So let's go ahead, and, go ahead and save that and quit it out. Okay. Exit out of the game. Let's bring our display back up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to download this mod one more time. Okay, we've downloaded it. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this. There we go. Move it in here. And let's go ahead and fire the game back up. We've got two versions now. Now, ideally, we would go in the XML. We would change all of this fun information. This way, you can have more than seven signs, if you should so wish. We are. Let's leap back down the hill. See, we've got our... Original seven signs, placeables, and we've got the first set, and now we've got the second set. Just going to put a couple down, and there we go, and now you've got the second set back here, completely blank, just as we were um, when we downloaded them, and of course we can make ourselves a second set. Just for fun, let me go ahead and show you how to go in there and modify that second set so it shows up as a, as a different identifiable mod. Go in here. Let's go ahead and oops. Let's open this in 7-zip. And let's go to the moddesk.xml. Okay. And... Let's drag this out here. Let's open this in Notepad Plus. It's a little easier to read. So what we want to do is we want to change this to um, two. Just going to change it. Just going to change the English um, language parts because we show our stuff in English. Okay, we're going to save that out. Close that. Close this. Then we've got our store icon. We're going to go here. I'm going to drag that out. We're going to hit edit. And we're just going to just put a number here. Save it back. Okay. Close the mod. Now let's open the game back up. Oh, what happened? 
Oh, you know what? Classic rookie mistake. I need to... Put these two files back in here. Classic rookie mistake there, buddy. Just realized I don't think I showed you guys what I did. Show you what I did. So I forgot to put these two files back in the mod after I changed them. Okay. Just done it. Now let's launch the game. And now you'll see we have version one and the second copy. So we now know which copy we're activating when we activate them at the mod screen. And that's it, guys. It's that easy to make your own custom thanks signs thanks to TWD Modding. Again, you can find this mod over at PCSG. So if you liked the video, if you did, please go ahead and click that like, click that like button. Also, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let's know. How are you going to use these signs? What do you think um, of these signs? And it's fairly easy uh, to customize. So until next time, guys, happy farming.